Alright, what's up folks? So today we're going to be covering the outline of the topics for the Food is Fuel seminar on September 8th to 6.30 right here. So, September 8th to 6.30, Four Wing Strength Conditioning, really cross it, we're going to be having a workshop. Alright? We're calling it the Food is Fuel workshop. We've done an iteration of this years ago, we're bringing it back. Uh, to answer a lot of questions that have been coming up lately. We're also going to have Gaines meal prep there and uh, Susie with Total Weight Loss, True Weight Loss Solutions. They're going to come in and talk about what they do and um, provide some value from their perspective. Okay? But I briefly wanted to cover what we're going to be talking about there to give you some more information. So what I don't want to be caught up in is the details of every specific diet that's out there. I think that's just monotonous. That's, that's all over the internet. And I don't think it's the best approach. So we're going to start with the, the, a philosophical approach to food. Right? and how do we approach, how do we eat better long term, and we're going to explain some, some key things within that. So we're going to start with this idea of the sorties paradox, and this is what I like to introduce first because people oftentimes ask me absolutes, right? Should I take creatine? Should I eat paleo? Should I do a macronutrient ratio based on this formula? Like there's no exact specific answer for to just generally give to everybody. So we have to look at everybody's situation, and your diet will constantly evolve over time. If you have a lot of weight to lose and a current macronutrient ratio is working for you mixed with paleo, well some point maybe you're going to stall out on weight loss and we have to do something else. So it, it's, it's constantly evolving and it's, there's really no absolutes. So the way we explain this is, you know, if you have a pile of sand and one grain of sand and I take one grain of sand from the pile and put it with the other grain of sand, does that make this pile, does that make this a pile, right? So if I take one here and put it here. Is this now a pile and is this no longer a pile? Well, there's really no answer and that's the paradox of it, right? We don't know, right? And it's, a, it's basically a matter of opinion. So this is the approach I take to all things, basically, fitness and diet. There's no absolutes for every individual. Everything needs to be different for every person. Um, so that's where we'll start. We'll get more into that. Uh, and secondly, if it sucks, you're not going to do it. If you wake up every day and you know that what you want to eat for breakfast is not what you enjoy or you have to eat so little that you're going to be hungry the whole day, you're not going to stick to it. That's why dieting doesn't work, right? And that's why people yo-yo diet all the time because they jump into something that's very hard and with no end in sight and you just fail. You're not going to do it. Nobody's going to do that. If it sucks, you're not going to do it. The only exception to this rule is if it's very short term. If I have to do something for six weeks to reset my body and then I'm going to go back onto a, a balanced long-term approach, that's totally fine. But if you jump into something that sucks and try to expect you're going to do it for a long period of time, you're setting yourself up to fail. Uh, again, food, not diets. A philosophical approach to food. That's what we, want to, that's what we intru want to introduce. I don't condone any one specific diet. Uh, we're not going to be promoting any one specific diet. Just the idea of here are some good options that put together in different ways we've seen a lot of people have success with. All right? So we'll cut those three kind of four main areas we're going to cover that I think give us a really good context are paleo diet, uh, macronutrient ratio, or if it fits your macros, intermittent fasting, and then the zone diet. So those four things I think combination of something within that is, is a really good way to start approaching food. And again, the point, the, the key is to find what works today for you and then constantly be evolving that approach. And I think the best way to do that is to get support through coaching or through meal prep, right? Gaines will be here, like I said, talking about what they do. That was huge for me. Lunches, sometimes I'm out and about now. And sometimes maybe you don't make the best choice from that perspective. So having that food pre-prepped and delivered on a Monday has is, is made me infinitely better on my food. Um, and then total weight loss, true weight loss solutions, what Susie's going to be talking about is her approach, right? Sometimes you do need to do that complete reset, teach your body how to burn fat, and then go from there. So she'll be talking about what she does, using a coach and using some sort of meal prep service can really help. Uh, so it's a free workshop. The RSVP is on Facebook. Just search for Food is Fuel Workshop and you'll be able to find it. Or you know, leave us a comment in this video, or shoot us an email, give us a call. Thanks.